Welcome back to another out of spec detailing video here from Clear Detailing in Windsor, Colorado. Today we are talking drying towel comparison. So we've got seven different towels that we're gonna put head to head on my friend Max's Polestar 2. Welcome back, let's jump into it. So what we have here is seven different drying towel competitors throughout the industry, and we're gonna be putting them all head to head. These are all different price points. The makeup of the towels are very different. So what we have here is again, like I said, my friend Max's Polestar 2, and it's gonna be wet. What we're gonna do is try to see how far we can get around the car with one drying towel, say from the rag company or car pro, whatever it is. We're then going to make this montage of it so you guys can see how they work. And then at the end, we're gonna score these from worst to best and give you a final recommendation on which drying towel you should get at home. Well, we now have a perfectly dry car, and this was an extremely interesting test. So we tested products at all different price points, basically down from $11 all the way up to $40. And wow, my mind is honestly blown, and I think I need to change up my drying towels here at the shop. So what we're gonna do, we had seven towels. I'm gonna bring them out one by one, talk about what I didn't like, what I liked about them, talk price point, GSM of the towels, and finally declare a winner of our drying towel test. So in last place, we have the G-Technic MF2. Now this towel is $11.99, so our cheapest one in the drying towel comparison. Lots that I really didn't like about this towel. First off, it's very, very, very thin. This comes in at 420 GSM, so really one of the thinnest towels we have here. The nice thing with this, you do have two sides. So you have a little bit thinner side here and a little thicker on the other side. What I found though, this could not even dry the entire Polestar 2, really started to let down. As you guys just watched, we went around the vehicle and by the time we got to this last driver's side door, it was picking up no more water. So I had to declare this the last place, number seven. So in second to last place, we have the Gion Silk Dryer. Now, this was an interesting towel I didn't really expect to like, and in all honesty, didn't perform as well as I thought it should have. So what's interesting about this towel, Max, I'm gonna bring this in a little bit. We have this two-sided, and in my opinion, this side should never really touch the paint, but we've got a nice plush side over here. This one also, like number seven, the G-Technic towel did not finish picking up water on the entire car. I do like that this car, this towel is maneuverable around the car, getting into tinier areas. It is nice to have not a super thick towel. We're gonna talk a lot more about that as we go. But yeah, this one, in my opinion, really let me down. This is quite a big size. So this is a 28 by 35 towel. And something that I didn't mention actually in this towel comparison, I tried to get these as close as possible. Some are an inch wider, some are an inch longer. You know, they're all a little bit different. But yeah, this one, number six for the Gion Silk Dryer. 
And number five, this is the CarPro Dehydrate Towel. Now this is actually our biggest towel we tested today, 28 by 40, but that didn't really help it as far as the leaderboard goes. Now very similar, I'm gonna bring this close up to Max here. This is almost exactly like the Gion Silk Dryer, really fluffy on one side and this weird nappy texture on here. Personally, really, really don't like that. Now this towel did complete drying the entire car, which is why it placed ahead of the Gion Silk Silk dryer. This towel retails at $26.99. My opinion, save your money and wait for the top four. Well, unfortunately, we have a three-way tie for second place, and I had a really hard time with all of these, picking them in spot four, three, and two, so these are all going to tie. And let's talk about that, because these towels all work very differently. Very different chemistry goes into these of how they're made up. Very plush, very thin, and kind of somewhere in the middle. So first, let's talk about this one. This is the Rag Company Gauntlet. Now, this is quite a big towel, 30 by 36, a massive towel. Now, the nice thing that I like about this, it's very plush and it's two side color. So you technically have eight sides when wiping a car. If you fold this up in quarters, it keeps everything nice and tidy around here while you're wiping it. Make sure you're rotating it. Now this towel retails at $24.99 and it is 900 GSM. So definitely on the thicker side of these towels we're comparing here. Now, what's kind of tied in between all of these towels is not only their performance, but their price. Now this one is same exact price. And unfortunately, this one didn't finish the entire car like the gauntlet did. This is the Rag Company, Company Twist and Shout. Now, this towel is totally different, a lot thinner. And like I said, did not finish the whole car but with a caveat. Now I've been using this particular towel for a couple of years here at the shop and I really like it for a few reasons. It's very thin, so getting into areas like grills and areas are a lot easier than something so thick like this. So there is something to be said for a little bit thinner drying towel, but it's not picking up all the water. So that's why these two are kind of tied, if you will. I like how this one feels on the paint a lot more. This thing felt like you were just manhandling a beach towel. Now, between the two of those, this one I would say is my favorite, but holy smokes, is there a huge caveat. So this is the Groitz Garage drying towel. This is a 25 by 35 towel, 1120 GSM, which is actually our highest GSM towel. And you are paying for that, holy smokes, our most expensive towel. This thing is 40 bucks for one towel. I just, I could not put this in second place being just, you know, 12, 13, $14 more than, um, you know, third and fourth place. So that's why I kind of tied all of these. Now, my personal opinion, this one does perform better than these, but you're definitely sacrificing having to pay that extra money. I just think a $40 drying towel is astronomical. A lot of things I liked with this towel, it's very much one wipe. You're wiping it on the surface and it really picks up a ton of water, not having to go back and forth. A lot of the earlier drying towels I talked about really struggled with that. You know, you have to wipe it, come back, you're risking chances for scratching there. So having that one wipe with all that water being picked up quickly is really nice. The other nice thing about this towel is it's right in between these as far as thickness. Now the GSM doesn't say so, but it is really nice and maneuverable. So I think this is a really good towel, but could not get first place because I've got my new favorite towel and boy oh boy, did I just lose a ton of money because I got to reorder a bunch of new towels. And finally, we have our number one, our winner here of our drying towel contest. This is the Rag Company Liquidator. This thing was truly incredible. Max that is behind the camera right now and I were sitting here while this thing was drying going like, I cannot believe how much this thing is picking up. This car, this towel finished the entire car plus more panels that some of the other towels could not even pick up the water. I mean, something like a Rivian or a big truck, honestly, you're gonna need one of these towels. And that's why I chose it as a winner. Lots of good stuff going on here. So this is a 25 by 36 towel, quite large. If you had two of these, holy smokes, you could probably wash your entire family's cars and dry them with that. Now this is 1100 GSM, but I think it's really nice because it's not super thick, 
but there's some really cool stuff going on here. So I'm gonna have Max come in here. Now we've got two different textures here. It's a little easier to see here on the corner. This is a little thinner in the middle and the corners are nice and plush. Laser cut here on the edge, not worried about scratching the paint whatsoever. It is nice and maneuverable around areas like the grill here that picks up so much water, really tricky to dry. Something like the gauntlet really struggled with that actually. Now, the reason I chose this over the Groitz is because of the performance and of course the price, $27.99. Is that an expensive towel? Of course it is. But if you guys are maintaining your towels, this thing is gonna last a long time. We all know the Korean manufacturer, the rag company makes some seriously good products and it's just incredible. I dried this and there are still dry spots on this towel, just simply incredible. So yeah, I just spent a ton of money because I'm gonna have to order probably 12 of these here for the shop and these are just the business. Super pumped with this. And I found this comparison extremely interesting and honestly, the two towels, the twist and shout, the bright pink one, and the gauntlet that I use here at the shop are gonna be going away and replaced with the Rag Company liquidator. Thank you guys so much for watching another out of spec detailing video. We'll see you in the next one very, very soon. Bye-bye.